in the back you just pop out the little caps these just come off like nothing six millimeter wrench fits in the top of the strut and then you unbolt it 17 it's a little bit tough to crack at the beginning but it comes undone underneath it is a 19 mil so i just have this side out right there it's a 19 mil that side isn't undone yet but it's uh soaking uh again it comes off pretty easy i use the impact because it's uh makes life a lot simpler so i'm just going to swap the boot onto the new strut and then uh yeah pop it in actually the new strut oh is already got the self-contained boot I don't really have to replace this off the top of that one so that's great I'm just gonna put the new bushings in so I will pull out that old bush pop that out with a screwdriver then the new one will go in from the bottom this top piece will then get bolted to the top I'll show you the process This strut has a uh, flathead spot to uh, hold it to tighten it up. So I'm going to slide this up from the bottom, then slide this onto the mount at the bottom. This strut will compress, so I'll be able to make it all fit, and then I'll come back up and put this on. So with the strut, it didn't take much to compress it to uh, put the bolt on the back. So on the top side, slide that on and then slide our new nut on I'll grab a 17 mil Okay, that top is turning. So I went to the thing. It's an eight millimeter wrench. So I All right, that's done. I'm going to unbolt this side. And the bottom there you see is done up. 